line, Traminet, which we're going to be speaking of, is a relatively new hybrid introduced in 1996 and Arbor Hill was the first winery in the world to introduce this wine at the Cool Climate Symposium in Rochester, New York. The Cool Climate Symposium is a group of wine producing regions, i.e. would be like Australia, New Zealand, the cooler portions of Europe, um, Washington and Oregon, and they get together every so often. And this was the opportunity <clears throat> for the Geneva Experiment Station in Geneva, New York to, to introduce the variety Traminette to the world, you might say. And uh, it just so happened that we were able to get our label for Traminette and be the first ones to commercially produce it and uh, have an opening of it at, at that particular event. It is a slightly sweet, although I've made dry versions and I've made sweeter versions, which we'll talk about later, uh, but this is what we call Classic Traminette. It is the most awarded wine at Arbor Hill, meaning it has the most double gold medals, best of class gold medals uh, of any wine we produce at Arbor Hill since, uh, and as I mentioned, since 1996. I'm going to give you a little bit of the history of Traminette. Uh, it goes back to the late 1700s, early 1800s, uh, at the time of Napoleon. Uh, Napoleon was, as they say, resting or taking holiday on his island of Crete when he learned that the Austrians had moved into his properties in uh, northeast Italy. <clears throat> so he amassed the troops, they went, uh, marched back, retook his land, pushed the Austrians back into Austria, and at this point, he knew that he had to leave somebody in charge of properties in these other areas so that there wouldn't be intrusion. So the soldiers knew that they were going to be stationed at different locations in order to protect Napoleon's empire. Part of this then, after they retook their property in, in uh, northern Italy, they moved up through Central Europe, and as they did, they uh, entered a small country, which is now part of France. But at that point, it was uh, part, it was an independent country called Alsace-Lorraine, or people will say Alsace or Alsace. Uh, this is a country fairly long and narrow between France and Germany, and the records indicate that it was fought over for centuries by the barbarians. Now, seeing as that the Germany is on one side and France is on the other side, it seems that the barbarians were the Germans when the French owned it, and the barbarians were the French when the Germans owned it. So it is a quite a large country of, of mix. <clears throat> now, it's interesting that the small soldiers were fairly smart about this. They knew they were going to be stationed, so they found this wine in a village, one of those villages in northern Italy that they really liked, so they took some cuttings when they went into Alsace. Planted the vines, three years later they had wine, and when they tasted the wine it was very, very unusual. And the Germans said, well we have nothing like this in Germany. The French said, we have nothing like this in France. Where did it come from? So they found the soldier, or the group of soldiers, and asked them where the wine came from. And they said, well, it came from this small village uh, in northern Italy. Now, I'm getting to the point here now where I'm talking about one of the parents of this wine, Traminette. And one of those parents is Gewürztraminer. So, this is actually, Gewürztraminer was the vine that was brought from northern Italy to Alsace. However, it did not have a name at that point in time. So the Germans said, well, this wine is very Gewürz. And if you translate Gewürz, that means spice and somewhat flowery, but mostly it means spice. And so then we have, well, where did it come from in Italy? Well, it came from this small village in northern Italy called Tremine. So now we have the Gewürz tasting wine 
coming from the village of Tremene. So it was relatively easy to put those two words together, Gewurz Terminer. So that's the derivation of the name of Gewurz Terminer. Now, Gewurz Terminer in our climate, particularly these last two years which have been severe winters, does not come through with much fruit. So, and this is a, a long-standing problem with Gewurz Terminer, it doesn't have enough cold hardiness for more northern climates like ours. So back in the 60s, the plant breeders uh, took the Gewurz Terminer and crossed it with a variety called Jahan Saib 23416. Uh, Jahan Saib was a French uh, breeder, so this is a French-American variety. And from that cross, there were several, probably a hundred or more, seeds uh, produced and then there had to be a selection process that took over 20 years. Actually it turned out to be about 30 years and the vines are selected according to wine quality, they are selected according to disease resistance, selected according to winter hardiness which is what they wanted in this particular case. And so this seedling which is now called Traumanet came from that particular cross. Now when it came time to name this new variety, uh, as you can see they decided to use some of the heritage and the Traumanet. Traman is the place in northern Italy, the small village where the grape for Gewurztraminer first came about. So that's how it happened to be called uh, Traumanet. Now the wine itself is, uh, as I mentioned, it's a little bit spicy but uh, it's a little bit different than Gewürztraminer. It's less spicy than its parent Gewürztraminer, and but more flowery. So most people pick that up when they smell the wine. The aroma is of somewhat of flowers, and you'll get some of that spiciness in there uh, as well. The wine goes extremely well uh, because it has a stronger flavor, a very nice stronger flavor, uh, that it goes well with foods matched that have stronger flavors as well. Uh, foods like oriental foods, Indian foods, even some Mexican foods. It will stand up to some of the heavier spices that are evident in those foods. So it's always a good match uh, to have classic traumanet with those style of foods. The other cuisine is the word I was looking for. Uh, it also goes extremely well with uh, warm brie and camembert cheese um, after dinner and with particularly well with uh, nuts as well. Uh, but that's classic Traminette. It's a favorite here at Arbor Hill and won't you enjoy a sip of Traminette with me. Very nice.